Hey guys, this video comes to you from AZ Avenger, and I'm gonna read to you what it says really quick. So I came up on this stop alone, then a dude who was a little tipsy seen what I was doing and joined me recording on his phone. He was trying to follow my lead, but was pushing hard, and I didn't want him to get himself or both of us arrested. So I laid off a bit, but still stood my ground when given unlawful orders. Watch the full video, there's a surprise at the end. Step back to the sidewalk for me, please. What's that? Can you step back to the sidewalk for me, please? The sidewalk? Yes, please. Just right there. It's more than 10 feet. Safe distance. I'm just asking you really nicely. Can you do that while I do this? Thank you. 10 like feet's a safe anything? distance. Can I get your name and badge number since you engaged me? Excuse me. What's your badge and number? Guys, can you please back up to the sidewalk? My, it's Officer Johnson, 23122. Can you please just back up for me? Just while I do this, okay? We're more than 10 feet, it's safe you're, distance, you're there's no... You're making me very nervous when you're standing behind me. In which way? Can you please just step back to the sidewalk? His hands There's four of you. There's up. four of you guys with guns, man. We don't got no guns very, or nothing. I'm being very polite to you guys. We don't it's a no First guns. Amendment protected activity. No I know what we're doing. There's no set distance. He's from a YouTube, YouTube channel. More than a safe distance from you. Her hands are up in the air where you can see them. You're nervous. You have a gun. That's kind of that's questionable. There. Don't nigga him on. It's not even worth it. I'm gonna go record the others. Huh? I'm gonna go record the others. Making me really nervous. It's hilarious. It's just Mace PD. Don't like cameras. That's all. So at least he identified himself. A lot of them don't like to identify. So. Car number 1802, Mesa PD. Got three of them out here with guns and he <laughs> felt nervous that we were recording them. It's kind of funny. You got three people with guns and you got somebody with a camera and you're nervous. Maybe this is the wrong job for you. Yeah. Like I said, there's a lot of good cops out here, brothers, and some of them that got egos. So what does your friend feel? Like we're in danger. Like he's in danger. Like I said, it's not even worth taking him on, bro. Again, guys, bad idea. Don't talk to the cops and definitely don't give them consent to search, that's for sure. What's that? Time to back up here in my investigation. I, have and I just need, I'm walking right here. I don't care what he said. I'm telling you to back up. And your investigation, this is the first amendment protected activity. I understand that. You can do your investi You can do your amendment stuff. Listen, I need you to stand right there. Back up to the back of this patrol. Room. We're not in your scene. If you want to secure okay. a scene, you need I to put to tape right up. Past you, please. If you guys want me to put tape up, I'll put tape up and I'll put you on the sidewalk. We'll do that then. That's what you want to do. Get behind my tape right now. But you're the one with the gun. Get off the car, bro. 
Okay. You guys are the ones with the gun. You yeah, just signed yourself you didn't care. We understand that. That's fine. Somebody's got an ego issue. The ego does not make the law though. The no. law is the law. Yeah. Right and stuff. And can I get your name and badge number since you engaged us too? I'm not making it difficult. Like I said, if I want to make it difficult once I'm part, once I'm inside the tape, when you go to put it up, since I'm a member of the press, I can stay inside the tape, but I'm not going to press the issue. An obstruction or interfering is a physical thing, not recording. So. So now you you got your back up. So as you guys can see, put up more tape. Trying to back us off further, so. He's in there. Yes, right. He's in there. Can I get your name and badge number? Can you get out of our crime scene? Thank you. He put the tape up pause right here. Okay, can I get your name and badge number since you engaged me? Again, I was inside the tape when he put it up, so. Again, if I want to press the issue, I can press the issue. I was over here being quiet and you guys want to make a big deal about cameras, so. Can I get your name and badge number since you engaged me? Officer. Isn't it part of your policy to identify to the member of the public? I believe it's rule 41 in your policy to identify. I was over here quietly recording, not giving them their space, and they get a problem with cameras, so. Are you refusing to identify since you engaged me? Excuse me, where's your identification number? Officer. I need to do something. I'll give it to you in a minute. Don't walk up behind me. Come on, I'm out. Get back over there. I'm with you. I'm passing. I'm passing. Can I get a card from you? This is, is this his number? This is his? Yeah. Alright, looks like this is one of their cards here. Oh, just a generic number. This badge it's number is going to be 23219. Come on, leaving. Alright. Yeah, the guy with the ego just left. No, that's another officer that walked up over there. The one that left's probably gonna go try to find. He thinks we drove up together or something, so he's probably gonna go try to find our vehicle. I'm walking. <laughs> Actually, right now. I should be a jerk and make him put up tape on all four sides. Cause that's it. Technically, we can go over there because there's no boundary over there. But I wouldn't even press the issue with these guys. They're they're itching to they're itching to do something. That's for sure. And here I thought Mesa PD was actually going to make themselves look good tonight, but <laughs> that's what I get for thinking, huh? Uh, no, she's refusing to identify. I mean, it's all right. She asked her. What's your... She's feeding off the ego of the other guy that took off, so. What's her, like, what's, like, what's her, like, her thing to do? 
What do you mean? Wait, like she has to identify it. If she's not gonna identify it is what it is, but oh, this is is there a vehicle number right there? Let me see. Vehicle number 1005. And then the one that showed up. Miss refused to identify. And see, and what's funny is, is they don't like cameras, right? Because the cameras tell the truth about everything. They think that auditors and cop watchers make them look bad. We don't do nothing but record. They make themselves look bad by the way they act and how they conduct themselves. Oh, I see it. You follow so. every rule. They tell you you were in the tape. They tell you to so. It is what it is. They're they're gonna flex their muscles, and I don't feel like dealing with tickets or supervisors or possibly going to jail because these motherfuckers don't know how to act right. So. Is he a supervisor? Is he a supervisor? Who? Is he a supervisor? No. No? I've been pretty cordial with you guys. Are you gonna identify, ma'am? <laughs> wow. Well, I appreciate you being professional and... Hey, and listen, I, I'm sorry that I got a little heat with you, but I'm willing to give you the information you want, but every time I go sit in my car, if you sneak up behind me and start... I was start, not sneaking, I was right behind. No, I get but it. I, and I still was but like I, a couple I, feet away from, no, I get from it. the... You guys you got the, the adrenaline going? The, I'm just saying... From your life. I, right? can't, I can't focus on anything I'm doing. Well, my hands if, were up the whole time. Okay. But I can't focus on anything I'm doing if you're constantly interrupting me. Yeah, but you're like the training one, right? Let's do this. So I'm supposed to just be interrupted by you whenever you feel like you want to interrupt me. I'm doing an investigation. Okay. But I can give you the information later. I, you can't just you can't insert yourself in our investigation just because you feel entitled to a piece of information at that particular moment. I know. Next time, stop interrupting our investigation, and I'm happy to give you what you want. Okay. Like I said, you're the good. You're the good one. It's not about being good. I'm just trying to get a job done. No, there's, there's, there's a, there's a lot of great cops out here, and that's, I mean, we're not out here to pick with you guys or nothing like that. I'm not, you know. That's why I carry a camera, and I don't engage you guys unless you guys engage me, because the camera's an objective witness, you know. I can't make you guys look bad. I can't make you guys look good. It's how you guys conduct yourselves. You know, and there's a lot of you guys that conduct themselves in the right way, and a lot of you guys that don't. Yeah, so. But you get, you gotta understand that sometimes you're pushing the issue when you get like real close to us, okay? And I know. But there was no issue with where we were at the whole time until until, until, until the last. You guys started like moving around an officer while he's making an arrest. We were more than 10 feet away from him. Okay. You know, I, I you know what I mean? There, so no, no, I, I get it. I, you can only go by what you heard. and You know what I mean? Yeah. You were busy over here. I get that. But I was more than... Guys, if you guys are trying to push the envelope, you're going to run into resistance. If you guys, at the beginning of the interaction, when you guys kept your distance and just filmed, there's no problem. And I had no problem with you getting a better angle. But when you start coming between our patrol cars and getting in between our investigation, and getting close and making us change our attention at all times, that's where you're gonna to start to get resistance from us, okay? So your partner put I get that. the yellow line, right? The yellow tape? Yes. You put it up, what is that? Stay behind it. You were Yes. Time. Thank you for reminding me. And like I said, I know you were busy, man, but you did engage me. Can I get your name and badge number? Yeah, can I get your information too? What's that? Can I get your information too? Why do you need my information for? Because why do you need mine? Because you're a public servant, it's in your policy to okay, identify I'm yourself. You too. So I can't give you it's a consensual contact. Okay, that's my name. Is that what you tell the judge? Yep, that's my name. What, what if I can't read? Two three one five. 
2315 is your badge number. Thank you. You guys be good and have a safe night. And that's on a serious note. You guys, I've been to Mesa, Arizona, and I've recorded police out there, and they do act tyrannical. Here's the thing. They don't like to be recorded. Why is that? Have they been behaving like this with the people for a long time? This guy has a good attitude. I didn't see him act rude or anything with police. Go subscribe to his channel. Let him know I sent you. Thank you guys for tuning in. Mesa's finest.